Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Animal Kingdom season three, episode one. This episode is called the called the Killer. Oh man, oh man, oh man. How long have we been waiting for TNT to bring this great series back? And I'm so excited because they left us with a cliffhanger last season. They locked our homegirls up. They locked up Janine Smurf, Cody. How could you lock up Mama Smurf, the Pimptress, the weird mother who gives you that creepy feeling? I still don't know what's the deal. Hopefully this season we figure out what's going down with Pope and her. And I don't know, with some wishy-washy weirdness going down up in that family when it comes down to the hanky-panky. Five shots. Boo left, left Baz out for dead, snatched the money, is Baz dead, is Baz dead, is he dead? That's how we felt for the last couple months and they started off right where we left off. And I love how they controlled the pace. The pace was everything because usually when you see someone shot up and they get rushed to the ER, the whole point is we're rushing to save this person's life. Well, not Animal Kingdom season three, episode number one, the killing, okay? Not this season. If you notice, they really took their time showing you how, the, how you went from EMT to surgery, a little slow, you're looking at different things because usually you're just looking at, you know, chest compressions, right? Think about it. Replay that intro clip. Uh, out the gate, I want to shout everybody out who helped me down last season. Animal Kingdom Season 2. And I appreciate all of you guys, especially um, everyone who consistently supported your girl, Miss Poetic Triple Eight. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe this one too. I'm late. Shelly, major props to Shelly because if it wasn't for Shelly, I probably may not have came back and reviewed it because um, she came at me on Twitter and a couple other folks. And AK Cody style, everyone there, Smorgas Boy, what up? Um, they were like, hey, you better come back and you better come correct. And I'm here, so let's get into it. We got graffiti, tattoos, they're running stop signs, blood is everywhere. You know what's gonna go down. Nice cars, the residence is party ready. Oh, free Smurf, y'all. Free Smurf. New officers, which means the budget is good. Javi cannot be our only enemy this season. What do you think is going to pop off? Drop a comment below. All right. Quick questions out the gate. Who shot Bat? Who shot Baz? Who was Jay's dad? When will Smurf get out? And how will she be able to get out? She got. How is she going to be able to beat that case? Who was in that black charger speeding past him jogging? Jay jogging on the, uh, on the beach. Was that Darren? Craig is reckless. I still feel like he's going to go this season. I feel like we're going to lose two brothers. Um, Jay is playing Pinocchio and Geppetto. You better watch that boy. He's much like his grandmother. Now, Baz is dead. Baz is dead, and I'm in my chest. I'm in my feelings. I can't believe it. They're pumping him. They're trying to get him back to life. And I'm just like, oh, my God, is it really going to happen? Wow, this is crazy. Um, blood everywhere. No cardiac activity. 6.36 in the morning. Dead. Wow, Animal Kingdom, y'all really pushed it. Did you guys expect for him to die this early on in this season? I did not. I mean, let's talk about that ass, though. Pope, that ass. Sean Hatasi, 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 Hatass, Hatass. Boy, he put them donuts out there, don't he? Uh, the cakes, them bow legs. You know I'm all about looking at some legs. I be like, mm -hmm. I see you, Daddy. I see you. Okay, Sean. Okay. He is the collared shirt legend. And I just want two things to happen. I want him to take over in his mother's place. And I want Maury to arrive on scene and just read off the test results when it comes to the little girl. You are the father. Andrew, you are not the father. <gasps> Come on, Papa Pope. Put your family together. Piece it all together. How did you guys feel? Did you cringe when Mama Smurf, when Smurf got to shaking and she was about to jump on the casket? You get real caught up in your emotions at the funeral. At the funeral, you know, people just take me now, Lord. That's kind of how she was doing it. I felt, wow, this was the big slap in the face. Like, yo, your son is dead. Um, how many more children? How many more Cody children? Do Cody adults have to pass away in order for this family to unite or in order for things just to get better it's like wow so much hate so much love so much craziness we're just losing members wow 
And somebody tell Molly to sit your ass down. Girl, just because you, yeah, we found you last season at the end of the season. Look, we're tired of you. You've done a lot. I'm sick of you. Just go ahead on and pee on the little stick because I know she's got somebody's baby maybe. And you know it. Smurf is such a liar. And her power that she holds over everyone and the way that she just strong arms and manipulates everything it's kind of crazy and it's kind of sick at the same time yes her son is dead yes her daughter is dead things just aren't working out for her the chick is of a certain age and she locked up who the heck wants to do that who wants to live their life like that i don't know what she does up there but even in locked up locked down locked side to side whatever it is it's glowing she's losing her shits let's keep it real shaking uh, do you have my things, Jay? She didn't even call him Jay, she called him Joshua. Yeah, you're not family, which is bogus. Y'all can keep messing with that girl. She's gonna snitch and tell everybody all your little nasty little secrets. Shh. Bringing up foster care and you know how the family feels about being put in the system and forgotten, medicated, abused, uh, violated. And you see Pope, Papa Pope stepping up and saying, hey, that ain't gonna happen to her. I did appreciate him saying, Papa Pope, I did appreciate Pope saying, sit your ass down. Go ahead, Nino Brown, sit your ass down before I make change. Sit your $5 ass down before I make change. Sit your $5 ass down before I make change. I never liked your pretty ass anyway. Arlette Jean-Pierre, I feel like Arlette was like, yes, at that moment when you watched this review. Hey, girl, the homies holding Janine down, holding Smurf down, looking like a trio of hot daddies, and I love it. The cast in this series, beautiful. Product placement this season is pretty off the chain. We see Jay and Darren rocking Adidas. We see the Dodge Challenger, the Dodge Trucks, and... It's just showing, hey, all right, I see what y'all doing with it. Go ahead, grow, grow. Nothing wrong with that at all. Now, the kid the kid needed to know that her father was dead. Hiding that from her, keeping that from her, something that would just not be good. You know what I mean? Just wouldn't be good. But Lucy showing up and trying to uh, weasel her way back into the family, into the life, coming up with excuses, knowing that she had something to do with it, knowing that she was there and she left him to bleed out, knowing that she could have saved this man's life, the nerve. Very old school, very old school methods because women inside in the kitchen, living room area, men outside working out the plans and the deals, doing what they do. I didn't. Did you take that a certain type of way? Were you for that or were you against it? Drop a comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Don't mess up the money. Make sure you complete those drops. Insert new character. Who this woman? Because you know, between baby, maybe having homegirl overbearing to Josh, a.k.a. Jay, and she did his uncle. Keep it real, she did, season two, keep it real. Jay messes around with her. Oh, man, it's gonna be a mess, but you know what's gonna happen? Okay, what's your name? I ain't gonna tell you my name. Cuckoo, right? When they took the waves on in the end, uh, the colorful boards, the wetsuits, the, uh, is it called a lay? What they were rocking uh, in the song, played and it said no way out no way out i'm like wow what do y'all do it for at this point if there's no way out are you doing it for love are you doing it for money are you doing it for respect money power respect are you doing it because cash rules everything around you if it's no way out then you know what's going to happen in the end it's death or dishonor no one that's able to, i'm just swinging this thing around trying to get it to melt a little bit but no one's able to stay on top for too long it just doesn't happen that way um, great season premiere, great season three opener. What does this mean? Animal Kingdom, you see someone in the pool drowning almost. Uh, are they being held under? We've seen them in the pool before, you know, having that brotherly family fight that they do underwater. Is that what it's going to boil down to? Whose face is that? It looks like Jay to me. I don't know. What do you think, y'all? Drop a comment below. How did you feel about this season? I'm excited. Come on, TNT. Come on. All right, y'all. Peace.